Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, Thanksgiving week. Appreciate you being here. Turned down a few spark orders and then like a massive amount came through. They were all bad. Okay, I took an Instacart, $27 for seven miles. It was 43 items, I shopped it in under 30 minutes. Already on the way to the delivery. Hope today is just fire because it's Thanksgiving week. I just have high expectations of this week, I guess. I do have DoorDash on. I've got a pause currently. They were just pouring in bad orders and my acceptance rate is already 5%, not like it matters. I don't wanna just sit here and decline orders while I'm driving. One thing I think is weird that these companies just continue to send stuff while they, they, they have your GPS, they know you're moving and they just don't care although they preach safety. It's kind of a double-edged sword. If we didn't get offers while we were driving, we'd be upset as well because sometimes you're coming back from a drop-off and you want to have that next order. I guess if they didn't have so many orders to send out and they weren't so bad 90% of the time or higher, it wouldn't be so bad. I made opinions last week on Top Dasher and the uh, Diamond program. I stand by those opinions. I don't know your situation, so you may have to take those programs and run with them in your market. But if your defense is you don't like the schedule, then that's no defense. You could actually schedule because the schedule drops the same time every day, depending on your completion rating. If it's 95%, you get early scheduling six days in advance. No, no reason to be top dasher. You can just schedule. Even if you don't think you're gonna work that day, schedule. What's the worst you do is delete your dash. And then if you decide to work, hey, that's why you should schedule every day. Even if you don't work weekends. I don't work weekends and I don't have any plans on coming out on the weekend. So I don't schedule weekends. But if I wasn't going to work weekends and then there was a possible chance everybody was going to be out of town in my house and I just wanted to do something, I'd have the schedule ready for me versus not having one. And worst case scenario, I delete it because I don't want to dash. You know, I don't know what works for everybody in their market. Some people may just like to be a top dasher. I had somebody challenge me in the comments to come up to Dothan or surrounding areas to have like a me versus him type thing to see who got better orders and better you know I guess better the better end of the day results and I'm not I'm not about all that I, I don't care that much like I'm not gonna do one app all day there's never a reason to do one app and I'm not doing it to prove anything also also to address that same comment he said something about clowns he'd be he'd be the clown or something on this channel I don't call people clowns there's no reason for name callings because of what you choose to do in life as far as dashing or you know whatever you choose to do with the apps i don't care i'm just telling you what i suggest you should do in my opinion because it is my opinion on my channel and you know you can take it with a grain of salt or you can take it to heart and save some time and money that's all i'm trying to say there's no more apologies unless i just say something very outlandish a faithful watcher chris scarpetti she drilled that home to me it's who I am and it's who I always have been. I'm not an apologist. I don't have a lot of friends because I give two strikes and if you F, F with me with that second strike, you don't get a third. I've just lived my life that way. I'm not a hard ass. I'm a really nice guy, but like it's my channel and it's my opinion. And you know, I've, I've said from the beginning, I'm not, I'm not one of those guys big on the subscriber count. If I make you know, 2,000, 5,000, whatever, whatever I ever get to, so be it. I'm appreciative of it, don't get me wrong, but like I'm not out here begging for subs and I'm not buying subs for sure, <laughs> like some channels. I just call it like I see it and if that's not what you want to hear, it's probably not the channel for you. I'm just a straight shooter and I'm not an asshole about it. I'm just, I'm just blunt and to the point and I'm me and I'm not gonna change that for anybody. So let's drop this off and have no more apologies unless they're warranted. All right, guys, well, we have a $35, 3.2 mile, I think it is. All right, guys, so we have a spark for $35 for about three miles, 28 items. We're gonna go knock it out real quick. That's how I think this whole week's gonna be. I could be wrong. Hopefully I'm right. All right, guys, honestly, I had a little bit of a wait there. I think it was about 20 minutes. So I took this $23 order. It's a shop only and a delivery, you know, Obviously, we're doing the shop only for free because Instacart's found a loophole for people to take them. You don't have to take them. It's not like you're forced to, but it's $23 for two miles. And I'm not so much into my pride, my feelings that I'm not going to do that shop only. It was only two items that I had to leave, and the rest of it was the delivery. You can't always let your pride get in the way. I mean, I know that's a shop only with no tip, but, you know. It is what it is, not worried about it. So I took an Uber Eats order and it's $10 for about five miles. And then I got this add-on and I wasn't taking that. 
Um, that's obviously no tip and obviously taking away some of the base pay for you taking a double order probably. I don't care that it's 0.8 miles. Captain D's is not super fast. So I took this add on instead. It's a missing screenshot. <laughs> it's five extra miles, but it's like seven and a half dollars and it's going to chicken salad chick. Only thing is, is the line when you get in there. Hopefully there won't be too much of a line. I refused a couple of orders. I had a target order. Comment down below if you've taken a target order on Uber Eats. It said $12 for five miles for 12 items. Uh, are you guys seeing those go up or not? I just would like to know. Well, that was the weirdest thing. Like I accepted a shop only, which I said I wouldn't do because like there should be better orders out there this, this week. I accepted it was $7.77. 10 items as i was pulling into publix i started noticing a glitching like it, it was saying items were being removed and then it said i lost the batch it took me a minute to realize it but everything was shut down like grubba was saying like where am i pretty much you get doordash to come up which was not a shocker anyway doordash usually has problems but i finally realized i went to down detector and realized that verizon was actually down they're back up now but i've already accepted walmart spark order on my iPhone that I use on AT&T. It's $35 going about eight miles. It's all base pay. When I get through shopping, I'm gonna text the lady. My normal text that I send everyone and let them know that I don't work for Walmart. I'm an independent contractor. We're not gonna argue about that. We use our own vehicle and tips are appreciated. I send a message to everyone because a lot of people don't know that we use our own vehicle and they, they think we work for Walmart. It's snowing. Oh my God, it's snowing. Slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal.